Chaos on the streets of Ramallah. A group of pro-government supporters marched down to where around 100 protesters had gathered, peacefully chanting slogans against the Palestinian Authority. Protesters were beaten and members of the media were aggressively targeted in what many say has been a concerted campaign against the press. Camera cards were forcibly removed and taken. A colleague had his camera smashed. We were surrounded by thugs who forced us to bring down the satellite antenna on our broadcasting truck. They are security members, you know, but with the civil clothes. They uh, related uh, to different security uh, groups, uh, military intelligence, and the, which called the, uh, the president guards. Uh, also, this is part of that. Most of them, you know, they are not civilians. They are security members. It's the fourth day of protests following the death of Palestinian Authority critic Nizar Banat. According to his family, he was beaten in the middle of the night and detained by members of the Palestinian security forces last Thursday. Anger at the government here is rising. 84% of the Palestinian people say in polls that the Palestinian Authority is corrupt. So that's the first issue. The second issue is that the PA has become an authoritarian regime. They are arresting activists, they are beating people in the streets. And last but not least, the Palestinian people want to struggle for freedom, want to struggle for justice. The settlements are expanding. And we see the PA, and, and the PA's role has been assisting the occupation, preventing the Palestinian struggle. Scenes like this, rarely seen here. A large number of security forces were stationed not far from this and did nothing. We reached out to various members of the government. No one has so far given us a response. The level of intimidation over the media over the last couple of days has been immense. Female journalists have been beaten with sticks. We were severely intimidated not to film, to bring down our live capabilities, and they continued to watch us to the point where we couldn't even take out our mobile phones. And all this prompted by a protest of only around 100 or so people. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera Ramallah, in the occupied West Bank.